hi guys welcome back to my channel on um, today's video we are making chicken curry sauce yes and here are the ingredients that we are going to be needing in making our chicken curry sauce we have some our chicken yes guys i do not have chicken breast so i decided to make this with the chicken that i have but i make sure i cut off the bones and it's like i separated the bones so now i have like chicken breast here but it's not really the package of a pack of chicken breast it's just me trying to remove the fleshy part and separating it from the filling part of chicken and by so doing that i have my chicken breast and also i have my corn flour i have my curry masala seasoning cube and salt here I have some dry pepper, ginger and garlic powder here and here are my greens. I have red, green and yellow bell pepper and I have some scotch bonnets, onions and my carrot. So without further ado, we are going to go ahead and start preparing this. So first of all, we are going to place our fry pan on fire. Yes guys, so let's make sure we place our fry pan on fire and we are going to add in very small amount of vegetable oil please okay just like that and we're going to leave it and allow it to get guys thank you so much for the way you are loving and supporting this sweet girl i cannot appreciate you guys enough i love you all and i believe that you are going to really really love this recipe that we are making this evening so while we are waiting for our pan to get hot Okay, I think the pan is hot, so I'm going to go ahead and add my onion. So I'm going to fry this onion for about one or two minutes. Yes, I'm going to fry it first. So guys, now that our onion, uh, our onion is properly fried, I'm going to go ahead and add it. Uh, chicken breast, uh, that is chicken breast. So, I'm going to go ahead and add in the salt, the curry masala, and my seasoning to it. Guys, curry masala comprises of ginger and uh, comprises of, of thyme already, so that's why I'm not adding thyme. So I don't know how much ginger is there or whether it's there or not, but I, I have my ginger, garlic, and my pepper here. So I'm going to add that into it as well. So I'm going to stir everything together. So I'm going to allow this to cook for about three to five minutes, guys. Yes, three to five minutes. So I'm going to allow it to cook without adding water. The little water in it is enough to do the magic. So guys, the chicken has been frying for some minutes now, like about five to seven minutes. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in some water to it. Just like that. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in my veggies from my spot connect pepper to my red, green, and yellow pepper and some carrots, guys. So I'm going to add in all oh, so this just like that. I'm going to give it a good mix and allow this to cook. Yes, guys. So, while this is on fire, yes guys, while this is on fire, I'm going to go ahead and make my corn slurry, yes. So, corn slurry is just a mixture of corn flour and water, but I'm going to be adding the remaining soy sauce that I have. I have that dark salt soy sauce, so I'm going to be adding it to this, and I'm going to add water to this. So, just like that. 
So this corn slurry is actually going to serve as the thickener in our chicken curry sauce. Yes, it's going to be the thickener. So while waiting for our curry sauce to be ready before we're adding our, our corn slurry, we're going to set this aside and allow this to get to a boil. Yes, guys. So now, guys, everything has formed to a boil, and we don't want to overcook our veggies in there. So now, it's high time we have our corn slurry. So here is the corn slurry. So you have to turn it gently. If you leave it for a while because it's some defile at the bottom. So that's why I'm turning it. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. That the moment I had it, it comes slowly, it becomes a little too. Yes, so that's it, guys. So feel free to add in more water to feel like it's coming. It's becoming thicker. But I know if you leave it, it will become thicker. The more the moment you get cold, a little bit thicker, so I'm okay with this consistency. And so, guys, our curry sauce is ready. So, guys, here is a finished hot comb of our curry sauce. And here is me inviting you to come and have dinner with me. Guys, look at how beautiful this is. Yes, our dinner is ready. Guys, let me know in the comment section if you are going to be trying this. I love you all. See you in my next video. Bye.